Within the framework of the European program Core Organic, the project Eco Orchard has given attention to the management of the functional biodiversity in apple or pear orchards. In this orchard of Granny Smith, distant from the core of the farm, the producer leaves a natural, rarely mown cover planting. Its phytosanitary practices are also little intensive, and it is not rare to see outbreaks of apple aphids, especially in this period. Located in an urban environment, the problem of this orchard, rather common in the region, is the invasion of the capo caps. Let us go and look closer in apple trees. What is happening there? To this end, we have explored three methods. The first one is called the beating. On about 15 trees chosen randomly, this method consists in beating three times a branch at man height to make the insects fall on the white frame and then to count them. It supposes to be careful, some insects being sometimes very mobile, like the earwigs, others less, like the scrub spider. This method allows to observe a big diversity of arthropods, ladybirds, chrysops, surfaces, bugs, hover spiders, cantarates, eolophrips, hymenopterans, as well as every type of pests. Without getting into the details of the sort of species, a chart of notation allows to register the number of observed individuals. Now, let us have a look to what happens in the plot of land where the grass is mown. And why not get interested in a plot of land and a net, or without sexual confusion, that depends on you and on what you want to test. Another example in an orchard of pear trees this time near an uncultivated wooded land, in other words, a little perturbed and multistratum environment. The producer does not meet particular problems. The presence of sile is moreover well contained. The number of insecticides is low. Would biodiversity allow regulation? The beating method has allowed us to find a plentiful population of earwigs there, which also like taking refuge in strip traps. The method of strip traps consists in rolling up a strip of corrugated cardboard with a smooth part towards the outside on the most horizontal possible branch and to fix it with adhesive tape. A visual marking like a band of construction site allows to find them better. Choose 10 branches by plot of land at various heights to cover the foliage. Five to fifteen days later, strips are delicately opened over a bow to collect the arthropods. Which would sometimes have sheltered there, between the two sheets of cardboard.
This method is effective to count earwigs, spiders, hair eggs, even bugs and ladybugs. The third method consists in putting plates of predation. These plates are prepared in laboratory from breeding of carpocaps or from another Lepidopteran, the Ephestia, eggs of which are stuck on a cardboard stapled to the underside of a leaf. Then placed by orchard. 24 to 48 hours later, the number of eggs which have disappeared or been nibbled can thus be counted. A variant method consists in using grown-up aphids instead of eggs. While the first two methods estimate a presence of auxiliaries, that one allows to measure predation by the auxiliaries. The functional biodiversity is playing hard to get. Mysterious, it is never the same according to the moments of the day or places. A picky and discreet eater who just not always feed on the pests. Restless, it always keeps moving and takes refuge in hedges or at the neighbors. We have to set up methods to know it better, but also to know one's orchard better, as well as the impact of our practices, adjust them and redesign continuously agroecological orchards 